Okay, folks, welcome back to the channel. And today, as you see, we are inside, which means we're not doing anything too important. Um, today, we have an unboxing video. Once again, it is a Fast and Furious unboxing. Um, we have the... I physically have the Skyline, the Supra, um, what are ones are on here? I have Skyline Supra. Oh, I guess that's all I have from this box. Um, anyway, yeah. Today we have an unboxing video. It was a tough decision between two of them. Um, but this one. I wish I had a way to cover this up for you. As you can see, it is a Fast and Furious 9 unboxing. So, what do you say we get into this and unbox this, huh? I don't have my knife on me right now, and the way I am set up, it would just be too difficult to even try to go get it. So, it says screwed. I'll use my screwdriver to open the freaking box. And today I am using the camera, so you guys are on the tripod. So before I take this out of the package, um, let's see what I can do here. This is Dom's charger, obviously. <laughs> it's the Charger 500 um, from the Fast and Furious 9, which I am so excited to see. Um, I guess they, I, I guess they're bringing Brian back. So, I'm excited to see how they do that. Oh, look at that. It even has tape to hold the hood in place instead of the strand that they give you. Like they do for the doors. So, let's just uh, pop that off. The first charger that I got, um, I, I was scared w when the hood came off like this, because I didn't know it did that, and um, I thought I broke it, <laughs> and then I realized, oh hey, it's, it's meant to be that way, so, but let's see if we can get a good zoom on this. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm, okay. I'm assuming you guys can see kind of good. BDS. It, it's kind of weird to know the secret of the charger that the bug catcher wasn't actually attached to anything. So it, it was just sitting there, made to look real, and the supercharger didn't actually work. But once again, they did an amazing detail on this. Um, yeah. So 
What we'll do is we'll get this out of the packaging itself, and then I'll go ahead and uh, give you guys a closer tour after I get you off the tripod. And if you guys ever get the put it together yourself models, it, it's nifty to keep the screwdrivers. Reason being for these precisely. So let's see if I can get you guys off the tripod here. Alright. It's kind of weird having you guys back in my hands to be honest. So, what we're looking at today is Dom's Charger from Fast and Furious 9. And as I was saying, they did an amazing detail on this. Got the Charger 500. Pads right here on the left. I wish they had, they would have added more detail to the bottom, but it is what it is. They didn't add the exhaust out the back. Which is kind of strange for them. They've never done that. Unless this is meant to be... Yeah, it couldn't be. needed to know. Let me get my flashlight out here. We'll get it tour or get a thing on the inside. First. Where's my thing? Oh, there it is. Yeah, look at that. My cat is trying to interrupt my video. So that's the driver's side. Get a view of the passenger side here. Yeah, it's, it's really good quality right there. Today. There you are. It's not easy doing this one handed. I love how they do the detail on the back seats. Driver's seats look different compared to the rest of the models. Once again, we'll show that beautiful one in there. And if I position it just right, it looks like you wouldn't even be able to tell it was a model if I didn't have the TV in the background. So, 
Oh, there goes Spade. Oh, where's the head at? Oh, oh, go on, go, go on. There you go. And then, yeah. And then I also do have another one here. Um, this one I got from Wish. Um, it. It is supposed to make sounds. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to make sounds when you open the doors. Like that. Um, so. But this one I've made to look like the correct version. Uh, I haven't done too good on it, but hey, I'm happy with it. Oh, never mind, the seat really hasn't changed. Oops. Whoop, oh, hi Spade. You want cat? She doesn't care. She doesn't care. All right, come on, get down. No, get down. Um, but yeah, I have plenty of other cars to go through. If you guys want to see more car reviews, they're down there. Uh, up in Miss Bumblebee. And then I have the ones up here. I have the general, uh, general mayhem from Roadkill, Herbie. Um, that's just a camper edition. The Batmobile, which uh, I think Batman's up there somewhere. Yeah, he's behind an Iron Man. You can completely see him. The Iron Man car, I believe, I went through. The Bumblebee from the first movie, and same first movie, Optimus, I uh, can't remember what that one's from, and I have a Dodge Challenger, the 20th edition Fast and Furious, and Tony Stewart, and I have more in the back. So. Give me a minute here. And then I also have uh, this Optimus right here. Uh, come on, on zoom. Yeah, I have this one right here. He actually does transform, and I made him to look battle scarred. So, but anyway, I think this is gonna end it for the video. Um. I, I just find out how I find it cool that they're releasing Fast and Furious 9 cars even though Fast 9 is not even out yet it's still in production unless it is out and I'm just behind the times so but anyway see you in the next video no clue when it's gonna be so bye